What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Hey, guys, don't forget about our chat we're going to have every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, guys, got another cool one for you. Actually, I've got about three or four different videos coming up. Uh, I probably should have put one out mm, maybe, you know, in the middle of the week, somewhere on there. But don't worry. Got three or four of them at least coming up. It's on deck for you guys. All right, let's get started with this one. This one here goes into uh, Tycho Crater. And I'm going to show you we can find that. This is right here. You can see this video right here, and you guys will get the link to this page because there's many. If I scroll up, you can see all of these videos that have to do with the moon, whether it's Apollo 6. Uh, you can see the landing site where they, they point out the landing sites, so on and so forth. Here, and here it is right here, the LROC. And here we go. Here's the content right here. You can see that. Um, and what's cool about this is that there's a whole bunch of videos in one spot. So you guys will get the link to this. Anyway, scroll back down to right around here. And this is the video we're talking about. The object in question, I'm going to go ahead and just make it full screen. The object in question is right here, but it's right here at the very peak of this mountain, at the very top here. See, you would see my white cursor now just to the left of that, right here. You can see that, okay? And you may say, well, I really don't see anything. Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. This is cool. Uh, I don't know what to make of this thing, but I do know for a fact it doesn't look like it's just lunar surface, right? Natural. Um, let's just zoom in. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. This is cool. I love stuff like this. Check this out. And here's the kicker, guys. Check this out. Let's go back a little bit. This actually has a really good, you know, decent resolution, but it doesn't mean it hasn't been fooled with. Let me show you what I'm talking about. First, let's look at the anomaly, which is just awesome in itself. Right here. Now, it's not that clear, but I want to clear it up for you guys. Right here, okay, it has what look like piping or framework. I don't know what you call that right there. See that? Right here. One comes out like an elbow type thing and back down. And it has what looks like this almost octagon shape, but not quite. Um, and check this out, guys. This is even cooler. It's got lines in it. One, two, three. And I had to do a thing to this photo, guys. Here it is right here. It's just a snapshot or a screen grab from that video, right? And uh, check that out. All right, so let's shopping it up a bit. Check this thing out. And again, you can see these lines, one, two, three, and that's just sharpening. I didn't do anything else to it. Now, let's go ahead and enhance it to see if there's any lines in it. Well, there's the lines. And you can see, if I go back and forth, even sharpened right there, all right? And next step. These lines are there. They're in, they're in the actual photo. See it? All right. Now, the funny thing about this thing, if you were to go over to this side of this object, you can see a little bit of white here, a little bit of white there, but check this out. It's completely been fudged out. Completely been fudged. Go down here. There's also some other parts. Watch this. Now, you can't see them too clearly, but you can see something right here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this because it's not in color, but if it's in black, we're good. As long as it's a uh, different color than what we're seeing, right? Right here. And there's a bunch of little details. Watch this. I don't know what to make of that. You can see it right there going like this. Now, I don't really care so much if there is anything in there or not. And you can see this photo has actually been manipulated right here. Check this out. Right there. The detail has been redacted or at least taken out, I'd say, a good 80%. I think you guys would agree. But all of this white under here, that's the actual objects. That's the objects itself. And it just happened to pull out this piece right here, which is really bizarre, but it's there. See it? And I try to shop it up a little bit just to see if we can actually see this a little bit better. Mm, really to no avail. And I couldn't really get out the way I wanted to, but you get the idea, right? But what is this right here? That just happened to pop out of this thing. You can see it right there. Very, very faintly it's there, but it's, it's got this round circle. See that? Let me zoom in. And because I was trying to shop it again, that's why you get that weird kind of grainy. Now, see it right here. I'm going to do this completely round because it's I'm doing this freehand, of course. But you can see that right there. Now, back up a little bit. What is that? Something is there on the side of this other object. And as far as I'm concerned, when I see something like that, that to me is not natural. It is not of the lunar surface. It's resting on the lunar surface. But check that out. That is the actual object. You guys can pause this. Take a look at it with your magnifiers. Tell me what you guys think. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Shopping it. Have a look at this thing. I looked at it with my, my uh, eyepiece as well as my magnifier. No, oh, there's no way this is natural. Uh, but, of course, you guys get the last word, man. Tell me what you guys think. 
But uh, this is actually a really good photo because I'm going to back up a little bit. Check this thing out. Look at this. And there's something else here. I don't know if you guys noticed this either. But let me just zoom in just a hair bit. I'm not sure if these are just rocks. And they very well might be. See that? It's kind of rounded right there. Kind of does this. Not sure what that is. Over here looks like there's some weird looking pipe, like an opening right there. And it goes into the these rocks. What do you guys think of that? Pretty cool as far as I'm concerned. Check this out. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think this is. Um, and by the way, I've got some cool stuff coming up. Uh, one of my subs, Gary, he actually submitted this and said, Chris, you got to take a look at this and rip this picture apart. And you guys will see that's pretty cool. As well as some more moon anomalies, which you guys have seen what, in the last couple of videos I've done of the moon. Um, so, yeah, I still got another part of that. Not as clear, but nonetheless, you can see it's been hidden and these things are there. So, guys, you stay tuned for that. Uh, I think you guys will like that as well. As always, guys, drop your comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this. What do you think that thing is? It looks like either a framework or something, or is it part of a craft? I mean, there's no way of knowing. Uh, pure speculation, of course, but it doesn't look natural to me. Anyway, guys, like the video and, you know, give me some thumbs up. Share the video. People need to see this stuff, as always. And don't forget, guys, every Sunday night at 8 p.m., we're going to get together and throw some uh, ideas around and some, uh, answer some questions for you. Anyway, guys, have yourself a good one. And I'll see you on the flip side.